Hey curl friends, welcome back to my channel. Let's just hop right into getting these moisture infused curls using Uncle Funky's daughter. As always, I'm starting off with freshly washed and deep conditioned hair. I always recommend starting off with clean hair when doing a rod set, just gives you better results. I'll be using a few products from the Ultimate Travel Kit. This is a great travel kit to get if you don't know what products work for you. And it's also great to travel with when you're styling your hair on the go. So I've already done the back of my head. As you can see, there's no real pattern back there, just larger sections. Um, take your time, always trying to make sure each piece is neat. Whenever I'm doing my hair on a wet set, I need my hair to be soaking wet. It just makes for a better set. So I will go in with a water bottle if I need to as I'm going. I'm going to be using the Super Curl Miracle Moisture Cream. This stuff is so thick and rich. It's going to add much needed moisture to any style. This is a great product to use if you need to put your hair away for about a week or so. If you're having issues with dry hair. I love using this stuff for any style that I'm doing and it smells amazing. So I'm going to be doing adding this by section instead of by piece um, and then I'll brush that through. It just helps with not having to use the product on every piece. I'll be finishing up each section with Curly Magic Curl Stimulator. This is going to be great to reduce frizz and define your curls. I love using this. A little goes a long way. Um, and you want to make sure you also brush that through to make sure each section is smooth. The neater the curl, the better the definition. I've always done from the root down, just my preference. Feel free to do this part however you normally do your perm rods. I like doing from root down just because I have better control over how my curl is being rotated around the rod. Um, so that's just my preference. Take your time in this part. You know, there's no rush because essentially if you're taking your time to do a rod set, you want to make sure the curls come out great. And then another reason why I like to make sure I'm re-wetting each piece because your hair ultimately is going to start drying as you go. But what you don't want, like by looking at this piece, you don't want to have half dried hair because it's going to dry like that. It's going to dry frizzy. So instead of applying more product, you just re-wet your hair. That way you're not weighing down your hair and you can continue on with styling without the unfortunate weighing down of too much product so re-wet your hair as you go um if you're doing a wet set ultimately comes out better when your hair is wet i'm trying to recreate a style i've done in the past by doing like a cute little bang in the front so i decided to use smaller rods in the front to try and recreate a bang look um you'll see how this goes towards the end but make sure you are closing your rods properly if you see my videos you always want to make sure you're closing across the root so that each rod stays in place because sleeping in these is no fun and you don't want them to get loose while you sleep so make sure you're closing the rods properly i did sit under the dryer for 30 minutes before sleeping in these overnight the number one thing, if you're not taking away anything from this tutorial, please make sure your hair is dry. Like I mentioned, I sat underneath the dryer for 30 minutes because I wanted to make sure it was dry in the morning. As you can see, I'm still doing a root check just to be sure. Especially when you're using a cream, a heavier product, if you know your hair takes a long time to dry, please make sure you take those extra steps. With every time that I do a rod set, I'm always still amazed at the definition that I get. That's why it's so important to take your time, don't rush through, and all your curls will be uniform. Make sure you're brushing the product through so you don't have any dry patches. Don't rush through it because the results will speak for themselves. Like, look at that moisture and that shine. This is why I love using Super Curl with the almond oil, the shea butter, the vitamin A, all putting much needed moisture into your hair, especially also the aloe vera that's in the Curly Magic. You're gonna get moisture just locked in. You won't have to reapply product, which is why this style is a great way to just give your hair a break for at least a week. Now, now this is the part where you can kind of make this style your own. You really don't need me to show you how to style a rod set. But I am going to show you a quick trick that I know of 
when I'm trying to reduce frizz. So you see how just by pulling apart or stretching out that curl, it's kind of like breaking the cast a little bit. And it's gonna give you a juicier curl to separate. And it makes it easier to separate. It's not gonna cling to each other. It's not gonna cause unnecessary frizz as you separate. So I'm gonna go in through each. I'm gonna show you a side by side. As I'm pulling each curl, it makes it chunkier. It gives it more stretch because I know a lot of people don't like the shrunken curl look. So doing this step before separating will help you eliminate frizz because some people just like to rip through their curls. So doing this step first before you separate it will definitely eliminate your hair from clinging to each other like look at that it's just a nice juicy shiny curl you can still see all of that good definition or you can still leave it like this and separate it it's totally up to you as you can see one side gives you a little bit more stretch than the other now you're gonna go in lightly and you're gonna kind of separate the curls where it starts to fall apart on its own so as you can see like where the curls start to separate themselves it's easier this will reduce frizz because this is kind of where people go wrong you know they they set their hair they have these perfect curls and then they just rip through them either trying to rush through or just not wanting tight curls now this is day one my curls are going to be tighter on day one than they are going to be day two day three so for me all i'm doing is separating just enough so I don't have parts that you can see visibly. So if you know, let's say you're going somewhere tomorrow, I would do this a day before so that you can let your curls fall because the more you pull and tug and stretch and fluff, you're gonna have a frizzy mess. So just make sure you take your time. As you can see, I'm fooling around with this bang. You don't have to do a bang, you can do a side part. I was just trying something new. You also want to go in lightly with the roots to give yourself a little bit more volume. This also makes a difference. This also helps with covering up your parts um, with doing the least amount of separating on day one. This style could easily last you through the week. So that's pretty much it. Like I said, you would take it from here and kind of make it your own. Include everything I used today, the Super Curl Curly Magic also has Midnight Train, Thirsty Curls, and Extra Butter. All of those are great products to put moisture into your hair if you need it. And I did tie my hair up to let my curls hang through um, just to give you more stretch as well.